But first, Roger begins with a much more conventional film called Fade to Black, a thriller. Well, Fade to Black is a very creepy and fairly effective thriller about a character who exists almost totally in a fantasy world constructed out of his favorite movies. And this kid is obsessed with the movies. He works in a film storage and shipping warehouse. He goes to the movies every chance he gets, and even when he's home alone, he locks himself into his bedroom with a 16 millimeter projector and a TV set that's tuned to The Late Show all night long. This guy makes us look like occasional moviegoers. His obsession grows to the point that he begins to think he's seeing movie stars everywhere he goes. Why? Well, no more dead or not. Okay, look, no more advice. As of this minute, you're on your own. No. It's amazing. You look exactly like Matt. We know. We know. Everybody says that. What was the name of the movie that Tom Yule took you to see in Seven Year Itch? I forgot. Is it famous? It's a horror movie. Give you a clue. He was green and he was slimy. Frankenstein. <laughs> the werewolf. Now you're just guessing. Who the hell cares? It was a creature from the Black Lagoon. Stupid. Hey, how did you know that? It's great. I do a lot of movies. It's my thing. Thrilling. I love movies. Uh, if only life were that simple. That was Dennis Christopher as the movie maniac. You may remember him as the star of Breaking Away, the kid racing the bicycle. And Linda Carriage did an incredibly good job there in that scene of imitating Marilyn Monroe. The opening scenes of Fade to Black are all sort of like that, with reality sliding off into fantasy. But then that girl stands the kid up, and then his aunt smashes his movie projector. That's really going too far. This kid goes berserk. He dresses up like his favorite movie heroes and goes out to get even with the world. His first victim is a hooker who insulted him a few days ago. Listen to the children of the night. Oh, what lovely music they make. I believe we've met before, my child. Uh, uh, what's your act, anyway? Uh, not that I care. Are you engaged this evening? Uh, yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, I'm late to another appointment, but uh, maybe some other time. And 
In addition to Dracula, he also masquerades as Hopalong Cassidy, Jimmy Cagney, and The Mummy. Fade to Black is fairly predictable. Once we see what movie character he's dressed up like, we can almost predict what he's going to do, but I sort of like this movie. It's not an all-time great thriller, but it does have a certain offbeat appeal to it. And Dennis Christopher is really weird and creepy as the killer. This is nothing like his performance in Breaking Away, which is probably why he wanted to do this movie. I think you're right. He's very good in the best part of the film, except for that uh, actress, Linda Carriage, as Marilyn mm -hmm. Monroe. The film opens wonderfully, and I was rooting for it, but then I felt it degenerated. It got more and more violent with scenes like that, a lot of blood, a stick going through somebody's heart, that girl there. Um, I thought that this film really fell apart at the end, and I was disappointed mm -hmm. after such a nice beginning. I liked it. Uh, I felt it had to end like that. It's a horror thriller. It's uh, almost inevitable that this kid is mentally deranged. He's going to get more and more violent. That's the way the movie has to go. Well, I just wish that it had been done with more of a spirit and love of movies throughout than just routine blood shots. Well, I think there are two attitudes toward how you feel about old movies. On the one hand, you can say, how come it didn't have more spirit, you know, of the love of old movies? On the other hand, I've met, and I'm sure you've met, people who really are obsessed with old movies yes. to almost to an unhealthy degree. They get that strange light in their eyes while they corner you at parties and drill you with details about insignificant yeah. events in the movies. And this is a kid who just got pushed over the edge. He just lost his grip on reality. I like the, the fact that the movie went all the way with it. Okay, and I didn't. I liked Fade to Black, the story of a movie buff turned into a maniac. I thought it was a stylish and creepy thriller, and I recommend that you see it, but Gene votes no. He says it begins well enough, but it degenerates into a standard bloodbath.